Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is gonna be the review of the Liquid Remix Room based on Android 9.0 Pi official for the Redmi Note 3. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here is my Redmi Note 3 running the Liquid Remix Room, and here is the system UI that comes with this room, guys. And let me tell you one thing. Even this room is also pretty much similar to various other Android 9.0 rooms but it differs in terms of battery life and performance. I'll be talking about battery life, I'll also be showing you my Android score and talking about performance in this room in the later part so do watch this video until the end. So here is the launcher, so this is the default launcher that comes with this room. By the way I have installed GApps Micro and everything is working perfectly fine, Google sign in and everything else also works absolutely well, no issues with anything. So here is the music player and fortunately the sound output in this room is pretty good it is also way better than some other rooms which i reviewed recently it is also slightly better than the havoc os official which i reviewed so here is the camera app and even this is also the stock camera app which looks pretty much similar to the google camera application and the camera app is not working perfectly fine let me show you the resolution and settings as you can see the back camera is set on 4k uhd so let us try 4k video recording it was not working it was giving error here it is, it says can't connect to the camera. So this is a bug at the moment, 4K video recording doesn't work in the stock camera. And even the shutter speed is not the best what I have seen, sometimes it gives lags. That was regarding the camera application. Let me show you the settings menu of this room really quick. The about device section. So here is the about device section, pretty standard one. And going into android version, here is the liquid remix logo. And the liquid remix build. The build date is 5th of October 2018. The Android version is obviously 9.0. The security patch is of October 5, 2018 which is pretty good. And a couple of other things are available. You can pause the screen and have a look at it if you are concerned with it. So the digital well-being is not here as you can see. But it is present in the gapps packages, some other gapps packages. You can download and flash that if you want that thing. But I personally don't use that. So going into security and location, fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine for me, no issues with anything. I don't know about the GoodX device, I don't have a GoodX device here. So here is the fingerprint speed. Pretty much similar to other Pi ROMs, there is no any major difference here. All other screen lock types also work fine, location also works fine, no issues with that. So going into the display option, here are a couple of standard things. As you can see. So you can turn on the night light from here. Working fine, change the intensity of it from there. The ambient display is also there, but you can put it only for new notifications. Always on option is not here. That's good because always on option will drain the battery like anything. You can change some of the system colors from here like the background color. So automatic wallpaper it is on. You can put it to light, dark or black if you want. You can also change the accent color, which is this one. So it is on blue now, you can put it to some other color if you want to. Like, let me go with green. And here it is, working absolutely well. So here are all the customization options that comes with this room. As you can see, here it says liquid lounge. And there are a couple of customization options here. But I had noticed a bug over here. When I first booted this room, even though I didn't enable the navigation bar, the navigation bar used to appear every now and then when I reboot the device. But after a couple of reboots, it is not appearing now. It might appear again in the future, I'm not sure about it. The navigation bar was turned off even though it was appearing over here. Later I had to enable it and disable again. So as you can see, these are the navigation buttons. So on this screen it is not properly visible but on this screen it is visible. So going into the power menu you can add some of the other options like the screenshot, airplane mode, lockdown and logout options too in the power menu. By default it comes on power restart and advanced restart. From here you can customize your hardware keys as you can see. All of your hardware keys, really nice to see that. So those were some of the customization options that comes with this room. Talking about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Everything is working fine, no issues with anything like Wi-Fi not working or anything like that. So let me show you my last Antutu score really quick so that you can get an idea regarding the performance in this room. As you can see here is my Antutu score. I have got a score of 93,869 which is a pretty good score in my opinion but again the Antutu benchmark is fluctuating like anything in this room. Talking about general performance, general performance is good, there aren't any major lags visible in the system, minor lags here and there in the system and if you keep lots and lots of apps in the memory, there are slight lags, slight stutters I should say, it is not visible again but yeah, gaming performance is also good, not the best or not the worst, 
It is playable for most of the part but after extended gaming there are slight lags here and there and the device tends to get heated up. I didn't feel that this ROM is pretty much different from other Pi ROMs. It is pretty much similar, there aren't any major differences. In a nutshell the performance is good, not an issue with the performance. So talking about the battery life, let me show you my battery usage really quick. So here it is. So that was my usage. When I first booted this ROM the device was somewhere around 78 to 79 percent. I ran Antutu benchmark, played couple of small games, later on played music for a while and then kept the phone for standby. While my usage the battery was down to around 59 percent. So later on I kept the phone for standby and the standby time in this ROM is not that great guys. Standby is worst I have ever seen in an Pi ROM. It is draining like anything. So when we compare AEX ROM and this ROM, AEX ROM has way better battery life when we compare it with this thing. When we compare it with Havoc OS, Havoc OS has slight edge over the battery life. In a nutshell, the battery life in this ROM is not the best. There are way better ROMs in terms of battery life. So that was regarding the battery life. So this was a quick little review of the Liquid Remix ROM running on the Redmi Note 3. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This is all about technology 24 to 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.